Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another weekly app review and a view into Hux World. Today we have a few watch faces for you, but before we get started, I hope you guys had a nice weekend. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Women, we have a special exclusive watch review for you. So we got some watch faces that's going to come up that we're going to have or we're going to review exclusively for you. And guys, you can check it out too because you might like some of these watch faces. Uh, we should be bringing this video sometime this week okay so be on the lookout all right let's get back to this app review and the first watch face we got is minimal time now this is pretty slick let me close this out start from the beginning you got the logo at the top now the logo at the top if you tap it you can change the color of course you see this is white you got a fuchsia color you got a peach looking color and you have blue you also have, I don't know what color that is, but <laughs> then you have black. I thought that was pretty slick. Just tap, tap the type, top icon and that's it. Now, if you tap the date, it brings up whatever it is that you have on, the, on your calendar and it'll give you information on that as well as, let me see, you have where it says 11. So it's letting you know that it's 10 11. So it's helping you out with the minutes there, which I thought was pretty slick. You know, as a nice, classic, unique looking touch. Now, if you tap this, this icon over here, looks like a little arrow. It brings up a few things within the menu, and you really can't see it right now, but at the top, there's a phone icon. At the middle, you have um, a text messaging app and then you have at the bottom email now the two things that's weird is the email and the text message and they're geared toward Google information uh, Gmail and hangout now the it gets weirder because once you tap on it it opens it up on your phone and not on the watch so if the developer is looking fix that problem very huge problem now at the top you have the phone icon which I thought was one of the slickest menus on any watch face thus far to be able to interact with and you have speed dial which brings up pictures it taps into your contacts I thought that was pretty slick uh, you tap on it it's gonna make a call for you right away you have the dollar so if you want to dial the number right out you can or if you wanted to uh, go into your contacts you can and your call log. This one is called HC1. Now HC, HC1 is uh, it's pretty different. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, put it up under category as uh, futuristic kind of in a sense. Uh, it's got a hundred grand right there. It says watchmaker and gives you the date, gives you information about the time, the month, and the day gives you information on your battery percentage for your watch and your phone, which is pretty cool. So if I tap the middle, it brings up the sun, doesn't bring up the weather information, and there's a three-day forecast. So let me see if I hit that, see what happens. Uh, it's supposed to be getting weather, and for whatever reason, it would never bring up weather. So that might be one downside to this. Gives you information on your heart rate. Also has uh, a compass. And I think the information so far the compass is concerned is going to come from the phone. And it gives you your step information as well. Let's tap the middle and see what else comes up. Now you have a stopwatch also. You can hit reset and you can reset the stopwatch. Which I thought was uh, pretty unique for a watch face. Now if you look down at the bottom it also gives you the hour and the minutes at the bottom as well. Now if I tap where these two arrows are I can change the color. Very unique of, of where you can tap to change this. It's not bad. Different but not bad. Okay guys last but not least this one is called V Metal Black. Now, I have to say, I like this watch face. It's, it's a nice, casual-looking watch face. Very different if you take a look at the, the art. I like the way the, the date is going around. So, when the next day comes up, 14, 15, 16, just kind of rotates up. It's an analog watch face, which is very simple. I like that. I like analog. And you have information on both batteries for your watch and your phone. You also tap on this icon here, you have a stopwatch you can use for your run. Stop it right there, tap the X to get back to the home screen. And you tap this one over here, you have your step information, which is pretty cool. And I guess it gives you information on how many miles you ran or walked. At the top you have 
another menu button and you can change the color of the percentage that's going around I'll show you in a second let's make it green and you can make this 12 or 24 hours that would be up to you let's tap this X and go back and take a look and see what changed you see I changed green information right here green not bad and there you go with your 12 hours which I like better than the 24 uh, I can see it clear. You get your month and your day there. This is a nice, slick looking watch face. I got to give this one two thumbs up. What do you think, guys? Let me know. Hit me in the link and hit me in the description below. Let me know what you think about this particular watch face. Okay, guys, that's it. We've come to another end of another video. Okay, so if you like this video, go ahead, hit the like button. And if you didn't like this video, hit the like button anyway. And if you want to see more videos like this, then go ahead, subscribe to my channel. And again, as always, I will see you guys again at the next video. Take care.